Glory be to Jesus Christ, glory forever. Good evening, it is Monday evening. We are drawing already to the near end of the month of February, but with good news as uh, the uh, state has issued uh, guidelines as to when successively younger uh, folks can get vaccinated. So that is good news. Things are moving along with the vaccination process. Um, so we are glad for that. We continue to pray for everyone uh, during this time. Um, we'll celebrate Vespers tonight now. Uh, thank you for joining us. And then at 6.30, uh, we'll be gathering with Matryoshka Delphi and the Urban family to celebrate a memorial service, a 40th day service uh, for Archpriest Joseph. So you are welcome to rejoin us again at 6.30. It will be the same uh, Facebook uh, location. Please pray together with us. God cleanse me a sin and have mercy upon me. God cleanse me a sin and have mercy upon me. God cleanse me a sin and have mercy upon me. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere and fill us all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. 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 Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, who covers yourself with light as with a garment, who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of your chambers on the waters, who makes the clouds your chariot, who rides on the wings of the wind, who makes the wind your messengers, fire and flame your ministers. You set the earth on its foundation so that it should never be shaken. You covered it with the deep as with the garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled. At the sound of your thunder they took to flight. The mountains rose, the valley sank down to the place which you appointed for them. You set a bound which they should not pass so that they might not again cover the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys, they flow between the hills, they give drink to every beast of the field, the wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have their habitation, they sing among the branches. From your loft you abode, you water the mountains, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for man to cultivate, that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted. In them the birds build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the badgers. You have made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness and it is night when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works and wisdom. You have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea great and wide, which teems with things innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships and Leviathan, which you form to sport in it. 
These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their bread, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works, who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul, praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed Metropolitan T. Carlo, companions of the Diocese of New England, for the honorable priests of the Diocletian Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the president of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord, for to you are to all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. We offer you incense to Christ, the God, for us, through spiritual pregnancy, seated upon your head in the altar, and send out upon us to return the grace of the Holy Spirit. In the fourth tone, Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Lord, I call upon you, hear me, hear me, O oh Lord. Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon you. Hear me, O oh Lord. Let my prayer arise in your sight as incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Hear me, O Lord. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Incline not my heart to any evil, to busy myself with wicked deeds in company with men who work iniquity, and let me not partake of their delights. Let a good man strike to rebuke me in kindness, but let the oil of the wicked never anoint my head, for my prayers continually against their wicked deeds. When they are given over to those who shall condemn them, then they shall learn that the word of the Lord is true, 
As a rock which when cleaves and shatters on the land, so shall their bones be strewn at the mouth of hell. But my eyes are toward you, O Lord God, and you I seek refuge. Leave me not defenseless. Keep me from the trap which they have laid for me and from the snares of evildoers. Let the wicked together fall into their own nets while I escape. I cry with my voice to the Lord. With my voice I make supplication to the Lord. I pour out my complaint before him. I tell my trouble before him. When my spirit departs from me, you know my way. In the path where I walk, they have hidden a trap for me. I look to the right and watch, but there is none who takes notice of me. No refuge remains to me. No man cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord, I say, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Give heed to my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may give thanks to your name. The righteous await me until you will deal bountifully with me. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you. Emulate the Canaanite worm in my soul. Cleave to Christ, crying ceaselessly. Have mercy on me, O Master. The devil possesses my rebellious flesh. Drive out my fever and calm my frenzy, I beseech you. Accomplish my mortification through fear of you. Through the prayers of your most pure mother and all your saints, most merciful lover of man. For your name's sake I wait for you, O Lord. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped on the Lord. You sent Jonah to preach to the sinful Ninevites. Your divine wrath was changed to pity by their repentance. They were delivered from furious destruction. Also send your powerful help to me, O lover of man, that I may turn from my innumerable transgressions, that I may be led to the path of repentance, and my bitter tears find deliverance from my many sins. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope on the Lord. O Lord, who came into the world to save us from our sins, calling us to repentance in your compassion, have mercy on me, for I have offended you more than others. For the sake of your goodness, save me and lead me to repentance. Grant me thoughts of contrition and humility of heart. Give me the grace of single-heartedness and gentleness, for my hope is in your mercy, O lover of man. In the second tone, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. When the fruit of the virgin had come to her, he who is a life-bearing seed, O Polycarp, you budded forth as a fruitful grain of wheat, for you fed the faithful with your holy life, leading us to godliness by the glorious shedding of your blood and the sweet fragrance of your sanctity. Praise the Lord, all nations, praise him, all peoples. You pass from this world to God, O blessed Polycarp. Your martyrdom was radiant as a lightning flash. You stood triumphant at your trial, O Holy One, yearning for Christ your only love. Now you rejoice in glory, praying for us all. Never cease to intercede for all who gather to celebrate your memory. For his mercy is confirmed on us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. When the true vine was lifted up on the tree of the cross, he stretched forth his hands to embrace you as a fruitful branch. You were pruned by a glorious martyrdom, treading the winepress of agony. Now as we drink this cup of joy with faith, we glorify your victorious combat, O Holy Father. 
in the foretold glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Deliver us from necessity, O Mother of Christ God, who bore the Creator of all, that we may cry to you, Rejoice, only protectress of our souls. O gladsome light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the setting of the sun and behold the light of evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For me it is at all times to worship you with voices of praise, O Son of God, and giver of life. Therefore all the world glorifies you. With some let us attend the evening prokemenandus in the fourth tone. The Lord will hear me when I cry unto him. Answer me when I call to you, O my righteous God. Give me relief from my distress. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. The Lord will hear me when I cry unto him. How long, O men, will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love delusions and seek false gods? Know that the Lord has set apart the godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call to him. The Lord will hear me when I cry unto him. In your anger do not sin. When you are on your bed, search your hearts and be silent. Offer right sacrifices and trust in the Lord. The Lord will hear me when I cry unto him. I will lie down and sleep in peace for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. The Lord will hear me when I cry unto him. The Lord will hear me when I cry unto him. God save, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Despise not the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord, grant it, O Lord, all things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord, Grant it, O Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, a Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and for a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God, to you, O Lord. 
For you are a good God who loves mankind, and to you we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all, and to your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord, to you. O Lord our God, who above the heavens and came down for the salvation of mankind, look upon your servants and upon your inheritance. For to you, the awesome judge, who yet loves mankind, have your servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from them, but asking your mercy and looking confidently for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and from evil fantasies, for blessed and glorified is the majesty of your kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the fourth tone, I want to wash away with tears the handwriting of my sins, O Lord. I want to wash away with tears the handwriting of my sins, O Lord, to make the rest of my life pleasing to you. But the enemy draws near and battles with my soul. Save me before I perish to the end, O Lord. To you I lift up my eyes, O you who are enthroned in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of a servant look to the hand of their mister, master, as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God till he have mercy on us. What man be stormed does not save when he takes refuge in you. What man disease is not healed when he falls before you. O creator of all and divine physician of man, save me before I perish to the end, O Lord. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for we have had more than enough of contempt. Too long our soul has been sated with the scorn of those who are at ease. The contempt of the proud. O Lord, who accepted the endurance of the martyrs, accept our song, O lover of man, granting us by their supplications mighty mercy. In the same tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Deliver us from peril, O Mother of Christ, God, who bore the Creator of all, that we may cry to you. Rejoice, only protectress of our souls. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people, Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. By your works your name was verified, O wise hieromartyr Polycarp. You were a fruitful olive tree in the house of the Lord, nourishing the church with the spiritual bounty of your words and deeds. Now you intercede for our souls, O hierarch and steadfast prize winner. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
Let us who are sinful and unworthy flee fervently to the Theotokos. Let us fall down in repentance, crying from the depths of our souls. Help us and have mercy on us, O Lady. Help us, for we are perishing from our many sins. Do not turn away your poor servants, for you are our only hope. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our most blessed Metropolitan Teague on Locum, tenants of the Diocese of New England, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever-memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, for the blessed and ever-memorable founders of our Holy House, for all of our parents and brethren, the Orthodox part of this life before us, especially the Archimandrite Alexander, the Protopresbyter Daniel, the Mitre Archpriest Daniel, the Archpriest Joseph, James, and John, the Protodeacon John, Anna, Christopher, Thomas, Christopher, Robert, Byron, Constantinos, and Andreas, and you hear that in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the brethren of our community, those suffering for their Orthodox faith, and all those lying on a bed of sickness in need of healing, especially for the minded Archpriest Michael, Matushki, Natasha, Anastasia, Cynthia Elizabeth, Delphi, Mara, for the servants of God, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Roseanne, Elaine, Maria, Joseph, Lucy, David, Carol, Anna, Robert, John, Maria, Sandra, Stephen, Stacy, and the newly united servants of God, Christine and Max, in the sacrament of marriage, for Zalman and Philip, for those suffering from the coronavirus, Matushka, Nancy, Lynn, Shirley, Lauren, family, Mitchell, Marsha, Robert, Miriam, Lauren, Frank, Sergey, Ilya, family, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that the Lord our God in his mercy and providential care for us will call forth for our diocese of New England, a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an archpastor to care for the well-being of our diocese and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith in loving service to one another and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in our holy and all venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present to await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we send a glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth, and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness, you hear our cry in repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the present threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians, nurses, all of our caregivers, the chaplains ministering to them. We pray for those developing and distributing vaccines and treatments and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom 
Father bless, Christ our God keeps his thing is blessed always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Preserve, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians, unto ages of ages. Most holy Theotokos save us, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God the Word. Truth, Theotokos, we magnify you. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, and our sure hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, of the honorable, glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and laudable apostles, of the holy, high remarker, Polycarp, bishop of Smyrna, whose memory we celebrate today, of the holy, righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, again, you are welcome to join us at 6.30. We'll be celebrating a 40th day memorial service for Archpriest Joseph Urban, um, attended by his family members and all who would like to join us. So that will be here, same location, uh, at 6.30. Um, just wanted to share a brief uh, story tonight as we finish Vespers. Uh, Saturday, we celebrated a wedding at our church, and we had visitors from a number of other area Orthodox churches who came to join us be together, although within our number of those who can attend services these days. And one of the uh, wedding party members approached me and he said, you have uh, relics of the saints up near the front of your church. And I said, yes, they're relics of the saints of the Kievan caves. If you've ever been there, I had the opportunity to walk through those caves. You, it's underground, there are chapels hewn out of the rock, and there are tombs with the monks uh, in, in, in buried there, but you can see their hand. They leave their hand up so that you can see the incorrupt flesh. And, and uh, so he said, well, I noticed one in particular, his name was Polycarp. Would that be the early saint? And I said, no, it's probably a monk who was named after St. Polycarp. But we began to talk about St. Polycarp of Smyrna, whose memory we celebrate today. And he said, we should be talking about the lives of the saints, that people would be so excited that they could learn something about some of our saints. And so in honor of that conversation that happened just Saturday, I want to share just a couple of words about St. Polycarp of Smyrna, who among the, the first generation of saints after the time of the apostles, he was on his way to martyrdom. And while he was on his way to martyrdom, was writing letters, epistles, to the local churches, saying to be of good cheer, to be encouraged in their Christian life. On his way to martyrdom, he was encouraging his brothers and sisters in Christ. And we have still today uh, with us some of those letters uh, that were sent to the local churches. So here was a man who was going to the end of his own life, and he didn't uh, focus on that, but rather was focusing on how, given that witness, how could he encourage the life of the church around him. So let us celebrate with great joy the feast of St. Polycarp of Smyrna in his dedicated witness, even as he was going to his own martyrdom. And may that be a good example for us as we prepare for the season of Great Lent, to think about our neighbors, to encourage our neighbor in their time of need, regardless of what may be happening in our own life. God bless and be with you. And again, please feel free to join us at 6.30 for the memorial service. <laughs>